so you want to know if the predictions that you see in YouTube on on other social media platforms related to crypto assets is accurate or realistic let's stay stay in the video as I will explain how to go about it the first step is that you need to go either to coin market cap this is the website or coin gecko where you can look for the market cap of the assets that you want to evaluate so I'm just gonna give you an example quickly about Bitcoin where to get the information and then we'll go right next to the spreadsheet now explain exactly how to go about calculating realistic potential performance of coins in this bull run this applies to every single asset that you want to analyze in crypto from very small assets to ethereum for example so let's go here in coin market cap what you want to do is select your asset we're going to select bitcoin you click on bitcoin and then you look at this left side of the page where you see total supply max supply fully diluted market cap so in this case the information that you want is either the market cap which is the value of all the coins of bitcoin that are currently in circulation or the fully diluted market cap where that is the value of all the coins that will eventually be in circulation as you all know bitcoin will have 21 million coins in circulation we are at 94.02 percent of issuance so that's why the fully diluted market cap is higher than the market cap i'm using in this example and all my calculations that you will see later fully diluted market cap because i want to include potential dilution of the asset especially if the asset has a lot of printing of coins coming up eventually so you write that down the fully diluted market cap and you put it in the spreadsheet this value obviously is bitcoin goes from 61,000 to 122,000 so it doubles this value will double so it's an ongoing thing that you need to update because every single week some coins will print coins will add to the supply especially the ones that do not have a cap I'm giving an example ethereum doesn't have a cap dogecoin doesn't have a cap so the, the fully diluted market cap evolves all the time so be aware of that some are capped others are not so this is where you can find the information for coin market cap on coin gecko you do the same thing you click on bitcoin or your favorite asset that you want to evaluate and they have all the information here max supply circulating supply volume and then they have the two values here market cap who is lower than fully diluted valuation they call it that i use fully diluted valuation in my calculations and this is the current market cap so i use this number and you go about and you select that in every single asset that you want to compare to Bitcoin. That's what we're going to do. And now let's move to the spreadsheet and you'll see fairly straightforward, fairly simple to follow. And let's go. So this spreadsheet will cover the top 10 market coins and evaluate the potential returns of these coins in relation to Bitcoin. I did not include stable coins in here, so that's why you'll see the positions on the left of the assets that we're going to cover. But fairly simple, once you have that spreadsheet set up, it's easy to then compare future assets. So let's start. For Bitcoin, position number one in coin market cap. Yeah, all the data here. I decided to use coin market cap, but you can also use coin gecko if you want. So on the 21st of august the fully diluted market cap that was the value of bitcoin this was the price of bitcoin and this is 50 percent of the fully diluted market cap of bitcoin okay and why did i select this value because in order to evaluate the future performance of an asset i set up a limit or a target and getting to 50% of the market cap of Bitcoin is extremely difficult. In order to do that, the coin has to perform extremely well. 
So that's already a very challenging target for any coin in the market. So if a coin gets to that level, we will see what's the associated X from today as a potential return of the coin. And if in the videos that you will see, they are stipulating that you, you can get a thousand X, but the calculation says that 50% of market cap is 100 X, then it's completely unrealistic. The chances of a coin getting to 50% of the market cap of Bitcoin are very hard and getting to 100% be, meaning being the same size of Bitcoin is going to be very challenging for any coin at all. So already, in my opinion, 50% of the market cap of Bitcoin is already very huge as a target. If a coin gets it, then fine, but it's still a very aggressive target and it will give you an idea of the excess associated with that for the assets that we'll cover. So let's start. First in line, Ethereum. Position number two, the fully diluted market cap is $313 billion and Ethereum is 24, currently is 24.8% of the market cap of Bitcoin. So it's not even 50%. And recently that percentage has gone down for Bitcoin, uh, for Ethereum. The price of Ethereum is this. So in order for Ethereum to get to 50% of the market cap, fully diluted market cap of Bitcoin, that's a 2x. Okay. What does that mean? It means that everybody, or if you see in the videos that people are saying that Ethereum will do a 4x, that means that Ethereum will be the size of Bitcoin. I don't think it's going to happen. So that's why you need to do these type of calculations to make sure that whatever you hear or you see in articles related to crypto is realistic. So keep that in mind. And if we do a 2x, this is the price where um, Ethereum will be around $5,200. Next in line, BNB. BNB coin is position number four right now, $82 billion. That's 6.5% of the full diluted market cap of Bitcoin. The price is $565. So BNB could do a 7.7x and get to this value. Again, 50% of Bitcoin market cap is very tough. So even a 5x would be challenging for BNB. Solana, top five coin right now. Again, Solana is also around 7x, but that would mean that Solana will have 50% of the market cap of Bitcoin, and that would be around $1,000. I mention again, and don't forget that the fully diluted market cap of Bitcoin fluctuates, okay? So if Bitcoin doubles, therefore the volume, the fully diluted market cap doubles, and then that leaves a little more room for assets to go higher. It's all dynamic, but this is a, like a picture. On the 21st of August, that was the calculation. So do, if you see videos that say Solana will go 15x or 20x in this bull run, my opinion, it will not happen. Even 7x is very aggressive. My guess is 4 or 5x or something like that could happen. But that's if Solana performs in all aspects extremely well. Next in line, XRP. This XRP is 4.7% of the fully diluted market cap of Bitcoin. So in order to get to 50% of the fully diluted market cap of Bitcoin, XRP would do at max 10x. That's $6.33. That's only if that XRP perform extremely well. So people are talking about $10 XRP, $15, $20, even $100. It's not going to happen. It's impossible. So even at 10X would be a miracle, in my opinion, for XRP. 
it's all based on numbers it's not anything related to the project it's fully diluted market cap of one asset versus another and those numbers do not lie and set barriers to the size of the explosion in price for these assets ton coin ton coin at this time we would get a 19x obviously now we'll get to lower uh, market caps of assets so then the x obviously goes up dogecoin dogecoin is one like i mentioned who the fully diluted market cap varies constantly because they're issuing coins every single day i believe or every single week and there's no cap in coins for dogecoin so dogecoin could do a 40x to get to 50 percent of fully diluted market of bitcoin but again that would be an extreme performance for a meme coin will it get there we don't know that's what the map is reporting for cardano we could do a 38x that's 14 dollars tops so anything above 15 and 20 dollars and 50 dollars and 100 dollars for cardano forget it it's not going to happen tron that will be near 50x and finally avalanche here to conclude that top 10 coins according to coin market cap would be a 38x very similar to cardano and these are the associated uh, prices if we ever get to 50 percent of the fully diluted market cap of bitcoin so if you do these calculations these ratios you will see if whatever you see in videos in social media is relevant or it's completely unrealistic and that's how you put real expectations on the asset on the assets that you follow obviously if you're evaluating coin number 500 or 1000 or coin 10,000 the number of X would be extremely high however is that coin going to get to 50 percent of the fully diluted market cap of bitcoin that's another thing so further down you go in the position the riskier it is the slimmer the chances are that you will get your target keep that in mind look at it but this is how you use numbers and fully diluted market cap to evaluate if the number of X that you could get in this bull run up to the end of 2025 is realistic or not. So I hope you learned something. If you want, you can share the formulas or uh, things like that in a future video for you to be able to build this type of tool and then just punching the numbers update this chart monthly or weekly if you want and you can see what the potential is for the assets of your portfolio and the the ones that interest you that's the only way to move away from speculation and unrealistic targets in the crypto world hope you enjoyed this video see you all in the next one continue watching subscribe Send me all kinds of questions related to this spreadsheet and I will answer the questions that everybody has. See you all on the next one.